If you know me, you'll know that I love updates in any apps or software that I use. Today, I'm going to be introducing you to an update for an app that I use quite often. It's called Vectinator, and they are sponsoring this video today. If you don't know what Vectinator is, it's a free, completely free design app that's on your Mac, on your iPhone, and on your iPad. You can use them all, and it's amazing how it's so cross compatible between all of these different devices. You can create professional logos in them and they're always updating and bringing new features. And I'll say it again, it's completely free. That is why I'm excited about this. So the first update, which is a major one, which is one that I actually spoke to them about, which is what I wanted to see is called the quick actions. Before we had to select a shape and go up and change all the settings in the top left or the right and find the right setting for the opacity, the layer change or the grouping. Whereas now when we select a shape down at the bottom, you'll see this sort of quick actions menu where you can select an icon, you can change the stroke width, the size of your text, you can group them, ungroup them, change the layer orders right where your hand is. So you don't have to be moving across the screen anymore. This itself is just a huge update to have as it makes it so much faster when you're working on like an illustration or a logo. Now, if you're using Vectinator not on your iPad as much as you do on your Mac, then you'll love this next part. They have updated their UI. It is more Apple-esque. The user interface is now even more cleaner. It's got a frosted glass effect on the sides of the UI panels. It looks like a real like Apple app. It looks like Apple created it themselves. The UI now just fits so much nicer into your Mac as well. It makes it feel less like an external app and more like one that belongs inside of the Mac. As well as that, they've got a cool new feature that you can check out in the export panel, which is just super simple as well. I've never seen a simpler export feature where you choose like the best quality and the sort of file type from SVG to PDF to whatever you want. Now, not only has Vectinator got all the icons, 80,000 of them that you can actually use, they've actually brought in all the SF icons as well. So if you're someone who does UX design, so you're creating a user experience or UI design and you just need to get the icons from, I don't know, like sending an email or your contact icon and you just want to quickly create that or make it like, you know, a little framework inside of Vectinator, you can do this now. All those icons are in there too. You can simply just click them, scale them how you want. It works super well. These SF icons are great for those who just want to quickly mock up an app. It will work in your iPhone, in your iPad and on your Mac as well. So if you're just out and about wanting to create an app or even for a professional project you need to do a framework for an app then you can do that super easily no more having to go and find external icons it's right within Vectinator now. And probably the coolest update that I've seen is the new quick settings. You can easily get to the settings now. Beforehand, it took quite a bit of, you know, clicking and finding the settings, but now you just simply click on the top left for the settings and you've got everything there. All of these new updates have been designed so you guys don't have to work as hard navigating the app. They've done such a good job with it. And I've been using it to do some of my hand lettering, you know, just playing around with it, but also being using it so I can play around with the pen tool. I use Vectinator mainly on my iPhone when I'm just wanting to design something out and about or at home or if I've got an idea for a logo. It's pretty cool. So if you're new to graphic design or simply curious about what a new program would look like, go ahead and click on the links down below. If you have an iPhone, an iPad or a Mac, especially if you have an M1 Mac, seeing as how Vectinator works super well on those Macs, then why don't you just download it for free? It's really good to use and you will not regret it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.